This game is rated E for everyone. For more information, please go to ESRB.org. Hello everyone, once again. Well, that was pretty bad, wasn't it? I am dancing on this Pokeball. And I need to think of better lyrics. Okay, we're just gonna leave. <laughs> On the last episode, we explored a little bit of Castilia City, we went to Game Freak, we told them that they were doing a good job, and then we got ambushed by this guy off a sand dial, and now we're gonna go catch a sand dial. But also we need to explore more Castilia City, but I'd like to catch a sand dial first. I just feel like we should catch one. So we're gonna do that. And then after we catch a sand dial, then we'll explore more Castilia City, because we still have a... Each... Knee... San and the front avenue to still explore. And I think we also have part of the back avenue to explore, so, you know. There's a lot to explore in Castilia City, and I've just kind of been like, yeah. Because that's, that's noise you make. Shh, 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 shh. Someone said, I love you again. I don't know who they're talking to. They're talking to you, the viewer. They love you. Okay, so dark, dark sand. Dark sands. It's sandstorm season, but whatever. Alright, come on. Come on. Let's get... Or maybe a sand shoe. That'd be good, too. I don't know sand shoes in this game. Well, it is, but it isn't. Okay, well, that is not helpful. But maybe we should catch it just because. Mmm, with sandstorms, no thanks. We're gonna just get the heck out of here. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Tora, come on. It's a Minchino. Okay. That is not a double slap. That is a... That, yeah, that's a ten-tuple slap. Okay, well, we're gonna try one more time. There we go. Okay, well, that could have gone better. But luckily, since I don't use these that often anywho's, We'll just use these right now. So we can keep on our hunt for a ground type Pokemon. Ground or something or other. Alright, Sandile. Okay, okay. Female. Might be a bit of a tough one because she's already level 16, but we will do our best. And Intimidate, of course. Alright, so Tor, let's do, uh, Return. I just realized that Tora is... Okay, well, you know what? That worked out nicely! That was still, that was pretty dang powerful. So, let's go to our bag. What kind of Pokeballs do we have? We have a Premier Ball! Let's try the Premier Ball! It never works, but it'll be funny if it did. Alright, here we go, each. No. <laughs> that's the that's the number that comes after one is no. You know when it says number one, it's that's meant it's backwards order, it's meant to say one number. Or one, yeah, because number is the second number in the number scheme. <laughs> okay, here we go. Once again. Each. Ni. San. Yeah! We can only count to three. <laughs> Alright. It's ground and it's dark, which is nice. They live hidden under hot desert sands in order to keep their body temperature from dropping. Uh, I think we will. I, I'm not sure if we'll use her, per se, but I think she'd be a good addition to have for right now. So, I'm gonna call her... The first thing that came to my head, I forgot... Who is this? Who is this a reference to? It's a reference to something, I just can't remember what. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna give her a completely different name instead. Okay, but the name I had before... This is bothering me now. <laughs> it just came to me, I'm like, wait, that name, yeah. Where is it? Mm. Pretty sure it's from the same source as this name. 
but I can't put my finger on it. The name I was going to go with was Perona, but I can't remember where that name's from, <laughs> so... <laughs> it's going to bother me now, like, wh where is Perona from? I'm pretty sure it's from One Piece. Per oh! Oh. That name would have worked, too. In fact, when we find a name... She'll, she'll have two names, how about that? <laughs> I am kind of curious what other Pokemon are in the sand, though. So let's check that really quickly. We won't do any battles, but... Just see what other Pokemon we have to deal with here. Ah, okay. Yeah, you. I, I don't like you. You and your flaming feces. Hey, man. I'm not trying to be dirty. It's him. It's the, it's the, it's the dang Dadamaka. I'm sad because Perona is actually one of my one of the characters I really like from One Piece. And I completely forgot <laughs> who she was. Oh golly. Okay, no, no Darumakas, no Darumakas. We'll we'll do like three more randoms and see what we get. If it's nothing special, then it's nothing special. And we'll stick with VB for now. Well, we could get another Pokemon later and call her Perona if we get a female of that Pokemon. That is. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, another sand dial, another sand dial. Yep, 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 we got a sandstorm. Yep, and that's gonna kick through. So, I, I feel like if the Intimidate wasn't on there, Tora probably would have one-shot that sand dial we caught earlier. Which is kind of crazy. And... okay. Well, we're done here. Time to go back to Castilia. But first, we should probably heal Tora, because that would be rude to not do that. Alright, Lure again out of here. Thanks for playing, Donamaka. Bye, have a nice day. Everyone, everyone have a nice day here. We'll come back here later when we feel more prepared, or when I feel more prepared. Alright, we'll take a different avenue back to the Pokemon Center. One, two, what? Whoa, hungry. Is that so? That's the conversation. The conversation that we have in Castilia. Alright, we, we're not down this avenue yet, so let's go down this avenue in Castilia. Well, okay, well, we're on the we're on the wrong side, and technically, well, this is actually supposed to be New York City, so this would be the correct side if this was New York City. If this was supposed to be a Japanese city, then they're on the wrong side. But it is supposed to be a western civil but some western okay you know what directions are weird and i hate that ever everyone's just like oh we've got we gotta be on the right side of the road no we gotta be on the left side of the road and it's just like why can't we all just have a common common knowledge of it like why why do we use the metric system and also the other system that is in the u.s for some reason like Meters are so much more commonly used, and I wish I knew better of those, but no, I wasn't taught meters. I was taught the other system, so I know feet, and feet don't make any sense because a foot can be as long as you want depending on who the person is. So why do you call it a foot? Why is it a yard? I don't know. Why can't we just go with meters? They're so easy. You got centimeters, which means a hundredth of a meter. You got decameters, which is a tenth of a meter, I think. You got millimeters, which is a thousandth of a meter, and then you have meters that are over that of a meter. So, like, it all makes sense. You got kil kilometers, which is technically a meter. So, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we should probably check that out sometime. From up-and-coming young artists. Okay. Ugly Truth. Well, it looks the exact same as this one, so I guess that is the ugly truth. Vanished hero. Okay. Eternal ideas. No, no, no. This is uh, unless that's what they want us to think. The ugly truth is eternal ideals. If we're too idealistic, we become ugly in our own ideals and we become corrupt by the ideals that we have, and that then leads to the ugly truth because we're so 
steadfast in our ideals that we will not waver, and that causes stuff that's bad, probably. Okay. You like to- okay, uh, yes! We have a dragon type, uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. What do we got? The recipient. It's a butterfly, or a- or a- I don't know which Pokemon butterfly that's supposed to be. The moving Pokemon. Well, it's not moving right now, so that's lying. A gift. The sin and money stack up. Wait, no. Sin and money stack up. But wait. This looks the exact same as the vanished hero. So the hero vanished because of his sin and money because he can't... No, he probably didn't do that because gambling's not anything in Pokemon anymore. So he... I don't know, but he vanished. And finally, white and black dragons. Yeah, that has, nothing, that has nothing to do with the other two, so... I don't know. They just use the same image. Because it's tiny sprite work. I couldn't... I like... That'd be cool if they made them all individualized, but it'd be like, okay, cool. It's in this one little area for this one part of the game. Like, deets... Like, you gotta take... You gotta pick your poison on what you want to do for details. You can be super detailed, but then some people will never notice it. Or you can be detailed enough that it's just like, okay, it's passable. Like, if this is a platformer, and you would go through that stage a lot, and you people can notice the details, great. But if it's like, it's this one area, and there's no reason for us to go back there ever again, now that we've gone there, it's kind of like, yeah, we don't need to put super detailed images there. Anywho, we have some places we need to look for in Castilia City. We need to look for the Battle Company, which is this building. So, there we go. Hello! Yes, you! I am looking for the Battle... Company. Okay. <laughs> not opinion battles. This is not... Is there, like, any... What's the what's name for a public forum? Like, where you just go to give your opinions? A town hall, I guess? But I don't know why you'd have a town hall in this big of a city. Whatever. Um... Okay, we got... Oh, the experience share. Oh, that is actually very good to have now. That's good. Okay. Woohoo! Also, now that I think about it, we didn't heal uh, Tora, and we also did not get uh, Vivi out of the PC, so we should go do that. But first, I will talk to you! You're from- I'm the Castilia Harlequin Hunt! You found the Battle Company Harlequin! Alright! Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, Ash. No, we we which. Yes. Ooh, charcoal. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But we also have Oshawott. C can I? Ah, uh, nah. It's just it's just one time. Ah well. Aw, that's better than using Sing at least. Sling puts you to sleep. Silly people. Oh, wait. Didn't we also get the bicycle? Yeah, we just got the bicycle randomly. <laughs> we got it a while ago. I kind of forgot about it because they gave it to you so early in this game. Oh, Metal Guy's here. Well, first we're going to heal and then we're going to go and get Vivi in the party. Even though I believe Tanro is behind her in levels, but whatever. ignore you for right now. Activate someone's PC. We don't know who it is, but they're doing things. Alright, and we're gonna move you. Oh, yeah, wait, no. Move. Party Pokemon. And get, get rid of that. <laughs> get rid of the other Pat Rat we don't need. And then I'll also go and switch up our party a bit. So that we have Vivi. There we go. And Tanrel. We go right there. I don't think we have need for the experience share yet. But at some point we will. I don't know what I did, but hooray. Oh. 
<laughs> I used the bike. Here's the medal. Okay. I like the Castilian music, though, so we're gonna kind of... We're just keep running around instead, I think. What's down here? We have a narrow street and Unity Pier. Well, let's go down Narrow Street. Why not? What's down Narrow Street? The true alleyway of alleyways. You scared me! Okay, they were on your face. You're welcome. You've really got to have more light to see... Oh! Oh, thank you! Thank you, that'll be helpful! And we'll use it on a Pokémon who I, I... I don't like that move at all. No one likes that move! Why do we keep putting in the games? Yeah, okay. What, what is this? Oh. It looks like the Evil Cafe from X and Y. <laughs> Oh, hello there, buddy. Oh, this place looks nice. I can't talk to you from across the table. I gotta go talk to you right now. That is very true. Well, you can change your family depending, because, you know, marriage and all that, and maybe if you're adopted by people you didn't quite know initially, but still, it's important to keep the connections, as long as they're good connections. If they're bad connections, though, yeah. Yes, it is. Hooray! I got milk! I will. Hello there. Wait. S sorry again? Listen to him playing guitar. I went back. Oh, okay. You kind of you kind of lost it there. Like, you're having a memory, and then you're like, yep, that's mom's for you. Okay. That's, that's good. That's good. What artwork is this? We don't know. Dang. Okay, and, uh, hello. How are you, how are you gentlemen doing? I'm, um, I'm, um, yes. Yes, exactly, yes. Yes, how, how do you do, fellow adults? I'm an adult, technically. <laughs> I mean, Nate in the game isn't, slash, is? Like, if you get to go on a Pokemon journey, does that, like, is that your journey to adulthood? Question mark? What is this? What is this? I don't know, it's a big sign and I can't read it for some reason. Hello? Uh, do, can you tell me what the big sign is? Okay, well, that's not what I wanted to know. Can you tell me what that sign is? Okay, that's also not what I wanted to know. I guess we'll go check the building out ourselves! In we go! Hello, what is this building? May I inquire? That was not helpful at all. Uh, yeah, okay. The, that's the thing you can do for the, the IR system. It's weird. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Okay, but is the, so does that mean the name writer's here? Oh yeah, you are! Heck yeah! So you know what we can do? We can correct my mistake! Because when I think of Ghost Princess, I think of evil little crocodile from the sands. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It should be Vivi. Never mind. It, 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 her name's still gonna be Vivi. I've, I've made up my mind now. Her name's gonna be Vivi. Unless... Wait, wait, wait. Hmm, you know what? I got the perfect idea now. <laughs> It's not going to fit the other theming, they'll fit a different theming entirely. That's not the letter I wanted to use. Where, where's, where's the T? There's no T! Perfect. It doesn't make a lot of sense in hindsight, but... Now, now I'm thinking. Nah, I'm going to go with it. <laughs> 
Okay, so now we have Mithra. Wait, we need to explore the rest of the building! <laughs> With name right here, there we go! Okay, now we're done here. Hello? What is this building? May I inquire? Yay! Tora, you need it, because Tora, you're awesome. That's nice, though. They have all these facilities in one spot. Getting your Pokemon massage does raise their friendliness, and some Pokemon need to evolve by that. It's a really annoying trait that I kind of hate, and that's why I'm not a big fan of Gen 2, because, like, that's just annoying that to do that. But, um... Hello! This is, uh, this is a place. Oh, I feel like I still need a Harlequin hunt! You found the Metal Office! All right! Thank you! Do I get a, do I do I get anything? I see you have medals here and uh I I don't know what that is. Those look like Super Nintendo cartridges. I'm the chairman of the board now. I can't sit in my chair though. Really? Oh oh Okay <laughs> Um I I'm good. I'm good. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, I did it. I did it. <laughs> I'll go to the third floor, see what's up there, and then probably call it. Oh! I think I know what this is. Unfortunately, it doesn't exist anymore. It's kind of interesting to put it here now. I guess it makes sense because where it would have been initially is in a city that we cannot technically get to until way later in the game. So it's nice to put it here instead. So, hello. Yes, I'm a trainer. Yes. Oh. There we go. We learned the name of the person. It's Amita. Yes. Over the Wi-Fi connection doesn't exist anymore. Hooray! Um... I don't think it'll matter at this point. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. Thank you. Fennel? Oh. Game Sync, Pokemon Dreams. Ah. It makes me so sad because this is a really cool idea and they never really expanded upon it. So, Game Sync. If we didn't go over this already, which I'm pretty sure we have not, we might have gone over in the previous game, but I'll go over it right now. The Game Sync is a concept of which you would put a Pokemon into sleep in which the Pokémon would go into a Dream Realm, which you would access by via an internet connection. In order to do that, however, you would need a Wi-Fi connection in order to get them into the internet in the first place. So you would essentially go to, I believe, online from the bottom screen, then there's Game Sync. We'd take Game Sync there, we'd have to save the game first, and then we would put a Pokémon in there, and they would go to sleep in a Dream World. The Dream World would then be part of the Pokemon Global Link, which you could get to via the internet. Yeah, Treasure Save Data and Nintendo DSi. The, the, they knew that the regular DSi and DS lights are gone by this point. That's pretty funny. Uh, yes. Let's connect to the Wi-Fi connection. doesn't exist anymore. But you'd connect to it, and then you'd have a bunch of little mini-games you could play there. This is actually the main way of how you got berries in the Gen 5 games, which is kind of bad now because that service no longer exists. The Pokemon Global Link, as far as I know, still exists. However, the Dream area, the Pokemon Dreams, don't exist anymore. You can't upload Pokemon to the Dream areas anymore. You can't get the Dream abilities that you would get from them. Yep, has been discontinued. So we can't do that anymore, which is unfortunate, especially because the first game in the West came out in 2011, and this came out in 2012. So the maximum enjoyment you could have gotten out of this feature was at the minimum three, or was at the maximum three years and the minimum two years, depending on which version of the uh, which game you were playing, this original one or the sequel, which is what we're playing. So it's kind of it's kind of sad because I feel like the one thing that always kind of grates me a little bit about the Pokemon franchise is that we get a lot of cool concepts introduced in a in a generation and they kind of just get scrapped and abandoned for the next one. 
And this, in my opinion, was the cool concept introduced for this one that just kind of got scrapped and abandoned for the future ones. Sucks, but what can you do? Dream abilities are obtainable now, I believe, through many events that go on through the current generations. Uh, and I feel like there's other ways to get them, too, depending on what games you have of the recent series. Not sure about Gen 8, because obviously, at the time of this recording, anyways, it's not out yet. But, uh, yeah, it is kind of unfortunate, because there's this cool, like, whole elaborate side thing that went out on with this, but it's no longer a thing you can really access with these games, which is a major bummer. But, that said, this game still has a ton of content to offer, so I feel like it's not that big of a loss in the overall. It's just kind of sad that it was scrapped completely, especially for future games. Anywho's, I think that's enough of me rambling, because we should end the episode off for today, but I appreciate you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button below. If you want some more content from me, please consider subscribing. Pokemon White Version 2 and Black Version 2 are available on Nintendo DS Family of Systems. I know that they are pretty hard to come by, because I already mentioned the dates and when they released in the West, which is 2012. But I highly recommend picking them up if you can, because I feel that this, combined with the original, even if we have some features that we can no longer use, like the Wi-Fi connection and the Dreaming, I still feel like overall these feel kind of like the pinnacle of the Pokémon series at this point in time. At least for myself personally. But most importantly, please have a wonderfully great day, and I will see you all on the next one. Until then, ciao!